Hi friends, how are you doing today? Data is the new oil. You must have heard this term already, haven't you? However, not many people understand how impactful this five word sentence is. Let me explain how. Just as oil has been a key fuel for economic growth and development ever since the 20th century, data will be the key driver of innovation and progress in the 21st century. In fact, data has already become a critical input for industries like technology, finance, healthcare, and marketing. It is used to power everything from machine learning algorithms to customer insights to targeted advertising. Data is a valuable asset that can be used to drive efficiency, reduce cost, improve decision making, and creating a competitive advantage. And as businesses across the globe are now beginning to realize the importance of harnessing this data to drive their businesses, the demand for data professionals such as data scientists and analysts has started increasing drastically over the last few years. In this video, I'll give you a step-by-step -step roadmap to become a data analyst in 2023. We are releasing this video now so that you can keep referring to it in the entire year 2023. All right, so to become a data analyst, these are the technical skills you need to master. You need to be really good with Microsoft Excel and storytelling with data. Along with these, you need some programming skills, ability to do exploratory data analysis, and have a really good knowledge of basic statistics. Apart from these technical skills, you'll also need to work on your soft skills, the structured thinking which you bring onto the table, analytical skills, and communication skills, both spoken as well as presentation skills. Feeling overwhelmed? Don't worry. For you, we have curated a six-month roadmap to acquire all of these skills. And for simplification, we have further divided this roadmap into two quarters. This roadmap is created assuming that you shall study for a minimum of four hours, five days in a week. So if you follow this plan diligently, you should be able to start applying for entry-level data analyst roles right after the first quarter and apply for full-fledged data analyst roles during the second quarter. So let's begin. In the first quarter, put your entire focus in learning Microsoft Excel and storytelling with data, along with programming language SQL. In Excel, you should be able to create and format different worksheets, learn basic functions like average, min, max, count, etc., and advanced functions like VLOOKUP, SUMIF, COUNTIF, SUM PRODUCT, CONCATENATE, etc. You should be able to use pivot tables and conditional formatting to achieve the results. Be really good at creating charts and graphs, and specifically advanced charts like Gantt chart, creating financial statements, and performing sensitivity analysis are going to be really handy. Once you've done all of this, you obviously need to narrate your stories. So storytelling with data becomes extremely critical. And you could use any of the tools, Power BI, Tableau, ClickSense, to show the stories based on your analysis. So you can use these tools to analyze and present your outcomes in form of interactive dashboards. You should practice creating these dashboards on several open data sets like COVID vaccination dashboard or maybe FIFA World Cup visualization dashboard. The next set of skills which you'll need would be programming skills. And the domain specific language which you're looking at is SQL for querying various databases. It is used to manipulate and manage data stored in various relational databases and to extract information out of it. In addition to this, you'll need analytical skills, specifically logical reasoning, data interpretation, and practicing various basic mathematical problems so that you are ready for your interviews. In addition to these analytical skills, you also need to have great communication skills. So the dashboards you created, you need to narrate their stories 
and present your analysis in an impactful way. So practice storytelling, write various blogs, make videos on YouTube so that you get into the practice of telling your stories again and again. By end of this quarter, you'll have a solid understanding of drawing inferences from data, building stories around them, and presenting them to a varied set of audience. At this stage, you can start applying for entry-level data analyst roles. Which brings me to the second quarter, where your entire focus would be in learning exploratory data analysis, basic statistics, and a general purpose programming language. Within this quarter, you may begin exploring full-fledged data analyst roles in the industry. Now, coming to exploratory data analysis, you should be able to conduct univariate and bivariate analysis. You should be able to conduct basic statistical analysis like regression analysis, both linear and logistic, descriptive statistics. So once you have a data set, how do you describe that? And you should have great understanding of probability and hypothesis testing. Along with this, you need a general purpose programming language, which could be Python. These languages have a wide range of applications, including web development, data analysis, scientific computing. So they are great languages to learn. On the soft skills front, you'll need structured thinking. So structure your thoughts by practicing various guess estimates, case studies. Mind mapping is a brilliant tool to practice structured thinking. So this is your complete six month plan to become a data analyst in 2023. As Analytics with there, we have helped more than 300,000 data analytics aspirants and professionals to achieve their dreams through our industry-focused career roadmaps. For more such informative data science content, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever our new video is live. We also post daily YouTube shorts that cover various data science-specific interview questions and their in-depth answers. Hope you are enjoying them too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.